What's going on YouTube? Warstorm here coming at you guys with another video today. Today I'll be talking a little bit about the format. I had originally had a video ready, but my work schedule last week and culminating with the Salomon Great Structure Deck releasing um, basically meant that everything I said in that video really need not apply because now we have a completely separate format. And I figure with Dusseldorf, you know, coming tomorrow, I think we need to kind of, I think it's a good time to take a step back and see where the format is in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that is a generally good thing and, um, and what I think will happen to Dusseldorf this weekend. So over last weekend we saw Salomon Greats um, have a pretty good showing for an opening structure deck. Um, I don't know if it's quite the showing that ABC had when it initially came out where it was just exploded all over the place. But it was a very popular deck. It did very well at the small um, regional that we had in Las Vegas over the weekend. It did very good at the San Jose regional, which is a pretty well known for being a pretty big regional. So winning that, is, doing all those events is pretty impressive. Um, and and there's other things you know to notice about that. The Droll and Lockbird is being moved into the main deck. This is for multitude of reasons. Um, while it doesn't do much in the Salomon Great Mirror, it's one of the f Thunder Dragon is a very difficult matchup for Salomon Great simply because while well, they do have ways to get rid of Colossus and they don't really care about it being out there, just the the amount of board presence that deck can make is just too much for most decks to deal with. So. Droll Knockbird is a very good card against that deck. However, I'm still iffy on its ability going into Dusseldorf. I do think we'll see it'll see a lot of play, but I do think we're going to see people playing a lot of other decks, a lot of blind second decks, because I think that's one thing we're going to see a lot of. Um, but one of the things I want to talk about today is why I think this is the healthiest that we've had since Master Rule 4 even came out in terms of health and her other format, where while there are Thunder Dragons and Sky Striker to a lesser extent are stronger than the rest of the decks, there's enough out there for these lower tier decks to actually compete. Now, obviously, you know, there are problems in the format. I think the number two, the two cards I definitely point to that are going to be dealt with on the next ban list are both Saryuja Skulldred, Elder Entity, Azathoth, whatever its name is. These two cards are going definitely going to get the more than likely going to be targeted the next ban list, but Compared to the issues we've dealt with since Smash Rule 4 happened, it's pretty darn um, crazy. Just I'm, and I'm, well, I'm also going to be looking back at some of the previous things we had. Um, initially, when Firewall Dragon came out, there was the FTK with Grand Soil that led to Grand Soil being banned and later errated. Um, we had the Spiral uh, format where it took 29 and 32 slots at at Dallas and then got hit before Trigate Wizard even came out. Um, we had the Pendulum Magician FTK with, uh, with the Lyrical Lucinia, um, and we had, we also had the, uh, Danger FTK, the Rongo Bongo car combos, the Gloki combos, it, the list goes on. And to this point, I think that we don't have anything that is insanely overpowered like those deck cards and cards were. And I think that's a great thing. Now, obviously, that could change. Um, we are getting dual power in um, April, and while we do know we do know some of the cards we're getting in that set, we do know um, Dark Neo Storm is going to really change the format as well with Cherubini and Dingursu and the other uh, Orcus support coming out. It's going to be a really strong deck as well. But I also think that the current top tier decks are much more counterable than we say and res less resilient than the previous decks of the past. Um, Guard Dragons are an incredibly strong engine, but if you look at a card like LP, for example, that special summons monsters from the deck, there's so many ways to stop that thing um, that people are playing in their main deck, such as Effect Failure, Ghost Ogre, even um, Ash Blossom. And now Ash Blossom is readily available to everyone with it being reprinted in the structure deck. I think that these decks aren't so overpowered and resilient like decks like Goki or these other combo Dark Warrior could be that I think it's a really in a really, really good spot right now in terms of the top decks are good, but they're not too good. And especially if you look back at YCS Chicago with some of the crazy deck lists we saw at that event, overall, this is a great time to be a rogue player within, um, within reason. Now, there are some problems, I think. I think it's a little insane that, um, that um, Phantasmain and Permanence playsets are more than the entire the entire Sky Striker deck that I recently finished. Um, that is absolutely insane. I, but And I do think that there's reasons why Phantasme is so good. It's 
it's not so much it's the fact that it protects your stuff from targeting meaning it's really good against both sky striker and altergeist and especially if you are playing a go first combo deck there's really no reason not to play it because it allows you to play into your opponent's board and it's a little bit difficult for some decks to get rid of so and impermanence i feel like it's kind of insane considering it's a got a reprint within two months we don't know if there's going to be any short print shenanigans with impermanence so it's difficult to say you know it's insane saying that it's sitting, but we are early in the regional season. People have events before April, unlike me, where my next regional is going to be in April after Dupo comes out. So, but that's honestly, like, within a vacuum, having six, two cards that are insanely expensive, but you can live without unless you're a super hyper competitive player that plans to go to nationals and all these other events, then you don't then you're in a pretty damn good spot especially with salmon greats salmon greats um the the new structure deck is pr it's pretty darn good um it's no monarch or dino structure deck but in terms of budget it's really budget friendly you know th three thirty dollar structures a set of sunlight wolves will run you about 50 to 60 bucks this is not too unsimilar to what monarchs were when because the stalos i believe was about ten dollar card you needed at least one mega Kaius was like 10 at the time kuraz was about a eight to ten dollar card um you get the idea so to summarize i actually think the format's in a really good spot and i really am interested to see some of these trends that are lasting early in the format such as droll and lockbird being moved back into the main deck um, where it was mostly a, an unpopular to side deck card at best last format, and whether Salmon Greats continue to do well at Dusseldorf over the weekend, it's gonna be really interesting to see. As far as predictions from me, um, I think we're gonna see some Salmon Greats in the top 32, at least two to three. I don't think they're going to win the whole thing, but I could be wrong. Um, I do think we'll, and I do think we'll see a few more rogue, um, unique rogue combo decks splash up. I do think. We'll see a Penal Magician list in the top 32 like we tend to at these events. Maybe a Bearning Abyss list. Who knows? But I think at the end of the day, I think Danger Thunder Dragon is a bit too strong compared to decks like Sky Striker. Do you think Sky Striker will have a decent representation, but it won't win the top cut? That's typically how the deck goes. It does well in Swiss, not so well in top cut. Um, but I think Danger Thunder Dragons will win YCS Dusseldorf. So that about comes to the end of the video, guys. Um... I hope you guys did enjoy my discussion on the on the format in its current state. Um, let me know what you guys think of the format. Do you love it? Is it in the best spot it's been um, since we've since the start of the, um, the Link Frames era, or are there is it just a little bit not fun for you guys? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Swarstorm signing out.